Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update, brought to you by Pepperstone on Tuesday the 5th of March 2019. I'm Darren Sindon and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. OK, let's kick off as ever with a look at the overnight changes and price moves to be aware of. Uh, really a uh, story of role reversal uh, from yesterday. Uh, weakness in the British pound, uh, the Australian dollar and the Kiwi uh, all losing ground uh, to various degrees to the US dollar. Um, whereas uh, the Canadian dollar and the Mexican peso having lost ground uh, over the course of the last week were well, back on the front foot against the US rival. Uh, dollar index for its part largely unchanged on the session. Um, so no real uh, movement there and as I say perhaps waiting for key economic data out of the US summer which we have later today, uh, the bulk of which comes later in the week. Uh, speaking of economic data, what's on the calendar? Which are the events that may move the markets today? Uh, we've got a pretty packed calendar, it must be said. We've already had uh, Kaishin Services PMI data for February out of China and the rate statement and interest rate decision from the Reserve Bank of Australia, both of which we'll look at a bit later on in the video. To come at 0730 GMT, we'll have consumer price index data out of Switzerland for February and at 815 Services PMI data for February out of Spain. At 9 a.m. GMT, it's Italy's turn to uh, publish, and this time it's gross domestic product data out of Italy for the fourth quarter. Uh, that'll be accompanied by uh, the pick of the European data, the market PMI composite data uh, for February from the Eurozone, uh, and a half an hour later at 9.30, the services PMI, of course the largest part of the UK economy, for February out of uh, uh, the UK. And then at 10 a.m., European or Eurozone, I should say, retail sales for January. So a real chance between the uh, uh, PMI numbers and the uh, retail sales numbers in Europe to get a gauge of how the European economy is performing. At 12.30, we hop over the pond for the first of the day's US data. And this is building permits for January. That'll be followed at 14.45 by market services PMI reads for uh, the US for the month of February and a composite PMI read, so the combination of services and manufacturing PMI for the same month. And then at 1500, we have the ISM non manufacturing PMI data in February. Uh, the ISM data takes slight precedence to the market PMI, um, so it'll be interesting again to compare and contrast the data there. At 1500 as well, we'll have the second of our properly related uh, data points today from the US in the shape of new home sales for December. And at 15.35, the first of the day's central bank speeches with the Bank of England's Governor Carney uh, speaking then. At 1900, GMT will have a monthly budget statement out of the US, a chance to look at the state of government finances there. And then to round off proceedings at 22.10, the Reserve Bank of Australia's Governor Lowe will be speaking. Last time Mr Lowe spoke after an interest rate meeting, he very much set the cat amongst the pigeons. So if you are still in the market uh, this time of the evening, it may well be worth paying attention to what he has to say. OK then, breaking news and comment that's caught my eye overnight. And first of all, the Reserve Bank of Australia left interest rates on hold at plus 1.5% and gave the cooling Australian economy what it described as the benefit of the doubt. Uh, the bank flagged household consumption as the main area of concern in the domestic economy. Uh, the bank isn't clear as to whether Australian consumers can keep up their rates of spending and uh, debt repayments. And so that's an area of concern for it. Meanwhile, staying in Asia Pacific, China has cut its growth forecast for 2019 to 6 to 6.5 percent, down from a forecast 6.6 percent a year ago. And the Chinese Premier Li Qiang said the country faces a hard struggle in his speech at the National People's Congress in Beijing. Donald Trump is set to remove the preferential trade status with the US for both India and Turkey, uh, press reports suggest. So Mr Trump is muddying the waters of international trade further, um, not having yet concluded a deal with China over trade. OK then, food for thought and something to take away with you into the trading day and beyond. And why not think about this? As China cuts its 2019 GDP forecast, uh, we got a warning signal uh, for the, from the service sector as its PMI, its Purchasing Managers Index, that is, of course, slumped from a read of 53.6 in January to just 51.1 uh, in Feb. Forecasts in the market had been for a read of 53.8, so that uh, sharp fall uh, is something of an unexpected shot. And the, uh, the chart on the right-hand side here is a, is a plot of uh, both uh, the official and Kaishin survey-based 
uh, PMI indices, manufacturing services in both cases, and uh, you can see the sharp decline uh, in the uh, services group breeds this morning, but also um, the onward uh, downward trend in uh, the official manufacturing PMI data, although the Kaishin survey data picked up slightly. Nonetheless, not a pretty picture uh, from purchasing managers index data in China, uh, and those comments from the National People's Congress are obviously something for us to consider over the longer term. Okay, thank you for your time today. Please do take a moment to read this risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be a risky business if you're in any doubt about those risks or the suitability of leveraged products for you. Then please do contact your Pepperstone account representatives. And as I say, please do take the time to read this risk warning thoroughly. Thank you for your time today.